Hi. So as I said in my previous video, Faith and I started reading the book, Out of My Mind by Sharon Draper about an 11 year old girl with CP. Um, she can't walk, she can't talk, she can't write. So we're just gonna do little clips every day and I'm gonna read a, a, you know, some little things and we'll just discuss it and hope that this will bring awareness out into the open. It's a good book and you should order it, you should read it, it, it inspired me. Good, okay, so on this chapter, I can't talk, I can't walk, I can't feed myself or take myself to the bathroom, big bummer. My arms and hands are pretty stiff, but I can mash the buttons on the TV remote and move my wheelchair with the help of knobs that I can grab on the wheels. I can't hold a spoon or a pencil without dropping it. And my balance is like zip. Humpty Dumpty had more control than I do. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty. When people look at me, I guess they see a girl with short, dark, curly hair strapped into a pink wheelchair. By the way, there is nothing cute about a pink wheelchair. Pink doesn't change a thing. Kind of reminds me with your walker, with your pink walker, huh? Yeah. They'd see a girl with dark brown eyes that are full of curiosity, but one of them is slightly out of whack. Her head wobbles a little. Sometimes she drools. She's really tiny for a girl who is age 10 and three quarters. Her legs are very thin, probably because they've never been used. Her body tends to move on its own agenda with feet sometimes kicking out unexpectedly and arms occasionally flailing, connecting with whatever is close by, a stack of CDs, a bowl of soup, a vase of roses. Not a whole lot of control there. After folks get finished making a list of my problems, they might take the time to notice that I have a fairly nice smile and deep dimples. I think my dimples are cool. I wear tiny gold earrings. Sometimes people never even ask my name like it's not important or something. It is. My name is Melody. So that's our closure for today. So let's talk about that. How would you suggest people approach people with, that have disabilities? To uh, talk to them face to face and speak to them just like you would speak to anybody else, right? Mm -hmm. What else? And try and like become friends with them because they can't talk they can't socialize and I would accept them just like somebody like me mm -hmm. yeah so and that, that's kind of hard you know to to think you know all they see is that pink wheelchair but it's true pink doesn't change a thing and you need to look them in the eye and see the good things and know their name and know them as a whole because they're important so yep, okay they are. so that's day one bye bye